Hey everyone, this video is going to show you how to rename your version through your version history in either Google Slides, Docs, Sheets. So for this example, I'm going to use Slides, but you can do this in the other Google Suite products as well. I have a drag and drop activity here. And right now I want students to get the editable link and I want them to come in on their own slide and I want them to drag and drop to where they believe the continents and oceans belong on the map. So everybody's going to pick their own slide and they're going to move the draggable items around for me to look at. And when I view it, I'll view it in grid view so I can see everybody working and where they're placing their draggable items. Let me go to file and my version history and we're going to go to see version history. Originally when I first created this, I created a template where it was just gonna be an individual assignment and I was gonna actually send this out in a Google assignment. But instead, I decided I wanted this to be a quicker activity. And so I changed a few things and I made this a drag and drop for the whole class to get on the slides with me at one time instead of having their own individual copy. So I duplicated these slides so that everybody would have their own slide to get on in here. And then once they came in, of course, they could take the drag and drop activity and move their objects, text where they need to go. But the problem is I have a first period. First period leaves and my second period comes in. I want them to be able to use the same editable link that I shared out in my LMS. Instead of having to make a copy of this and get one ready for second period and share a whole separate link, I just want to be able to go back to the original version of this. So I wanna restore this back to the templated version. How I do that is I go to file, I go to version history, and I'm gonna to go to see version history. I wanna go back to the original version where none of these things have changed. So if I come here, you can see that there's changes made. But down here on this one is my original version. As you can see, the text is not where it was on that other one. And I'm actually gonna to come to the three meatballs and I'm gonna say rename, and I'm gonna call this template. So I'm going to get back out and of course it's the normal version. My first period did their activity and different ones of these have been dragged into different areas. But now first period is over. So I'm going to go back to file. I'm going to go back to version history, see version history. And I'm just going to come down here to template and select it. And I'm going to say yes, I want to restore this version. So this gets rid of my first period work. But now my Google Slides are ready for second period and I don't have to make a copy. I don't have to reshare a link with them. I can also use this again next year, all set and ready to go with the templated version. I hope this helps some workflows if you're doing some interactive activities that you want to so-called clear the board when you're done. Naming your version history and keeping templates in there named can help you with this. 